Hey guys, it's Aaron. So we did a live model a little bit ago that featured using the match photo command uh, to create interiors. And I had a couple of tips that came up out of that that I thought would make a good video. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that. So this is using match photo on interiors, a couple of tricks for you if you ever have to do that. So let's hop in. Okay, so uh, I have a couple of photos I downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and bring one of them in. So I'm going to go to File, Import, which is, you know, how you do that. Um, I have these two. I'm going to look at this one that's called Corner. And I'm going to import it. I'm going to import it as a matched photo. I am terrible about double checking my usage down here. Make sure when you do an import, after you select the file you want to import, make sure you do check to make sure you're importing for the right thing. It's not a texture or an image. It is coming in as a matched photo. I'm going to go ahead and hit import. All right, so now I'm in the match photo screen. So here's the first big thing, big lesson that I learned for importing, and that is crisscrossing the red and green lines. So what do I mean by that? So the red and green lines are set up to help you model the exterior of a building, as if the, the corner were coming towards you, as if I had a, a concave, a point, an edge coming at me. I'm doing it opposite where I'm actually kind of folding in. I, my, my, my corner goes away from me. I'm making a concave. Uh, so one of the things I want to do is to keep, you can see how the, the green axis run this way, red axis run this way. They come out to the blue axis. So I want to take my green lines. I want to put them over here on this side and then take my red lines and put them over here on this side when I line them up. And you'll see without, before I even go in and manipulate them, they're running the right orientation. By default, Match Photo was created to create those exteriors of buildings. So it makes a lot of sense that when I first pull it up, it's created for that. It's not a bad thing. Actually, I, I did a couple where I just switched my red and green and it was okay. Where I ran into problems was trying to put multiple images into a Match Photo. It fell apart very quickly when I didn't crisscross my red and green. Uh, next thing, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to align my, my green and red lines in just one second, but before I do that, I'm going to take my origin and put it at this corner right here. So I'm going to do that first. Be very vigilant. I don't do a good job of this. I don't really, sometimes I don't even remember to move the blue line to a spot on the building. Um, it's very important to do that. The other thing, so we're not going to get into in this video, maybe in the next video I do, we'll do uh, using match photo on multiple images. Let me know in the comments if that sounds interesting, if you want to see how to use multiple images inside a match photo. Um, but moving this origin is extremely important when I get to something like that. Right now though, by putting it here in the corner, it does a couple things for me. One is it makes sure that I'm straight. So I can see this blue line is lining up right with the crack of the wall, the inside corner there. And what I'll be able to do is watch my green and red lines at the bottom and they should line up with these lines at the bottom of the floor. So as I start moving these around, I'm going to just bring this right past the origin here, pull this one up towards this direction. I should see them. See how that's lining up this way. That's a good sign. On this top one, I'm going to just follow the top of this window. It's where it's real easy to see where I have high contrast, the lighter to the dark there. That is where I'm going to put that. Up here, this is a little tricky because I have the, these pipes cutting this off, but I'm going to go ahead and pull this over here. Again, just trying to follow where that brick hits the ceiling. And then the big one right here, as I pull this, I'm going to pull this back this way just past and pull that up like that. And yeah, I can see that's right there lining up. All right, so that looks good. Once I'm done with this, I'm just going to go ahead and hit done. And something that's important to note is that when you do match photo, of course, it creates a scene. The name of the scene is whatever the file you imported was. So if you have a picture you took on your own phone, and it's called IMG 372-7864. That's going to be the name of your scene by default. You can, of course, rename it in the scenes tab or right click on the tab here and rename it. Um, but it is going to uh, use that name by default. You can change it. All right. The other thing I want to point out, this is 
any, anywhere you're using, not just interiors, any place you're using Match Photo, um, if you rotate away from that, you can always get back to it by clicking on the scene. That's not a secret. That's pretty easy to do. What I would recommend doing is if you're new Match Photo, first thing is come over to View, go to Animation, Settings, and at least for the duration of your modeling in, with Match Photo, turn off scene transitions. What scene transitions is that's that, that's that couple of seconds that it spins them all around. I don't need that. When I click Match Photo, only boom, back in Match Photo. That's what I want. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. This is generally how I go about this. I'm going to put a ground plane like this. I'm going to put a, a plane up vertical over here. Try to bring that right up to where my ceiling is. All right. Take another one down here. Uh, I generally mock up my initial lines like this. So it doesn't matter. They don't run the full side. That's, that's fine. Because what I can do is I can now grab these lines. Whoops. Just these lines right here. And we'll just slide them along the red axis until they, they fill up. Screen there. Okay. And I'm going to go this way with these two. There we go. Slide them along the green axis till they go off the page. Okay, so that's generally where I'm going to start from. So here's where I would start drawing in my windows or put my trim in, something like that. So one of the big things that comes up here is the ability to click on a face. I'm going to right click here and I can take this image, the image that I have in Match Photo and project it onto my material or project it as a material onto my surface. So if I say project photo, I'm going to get that. Now let's unselect so you can actually see it. So see that? It's just that chunk of that, that face me just splattered onto the wall like that. Um, that's great. I'm going to undo that. The downside, what, what, what potentially is an issue there is distortion and potentially things that don't look quite right. So here, what am I talking about? I'm going to use this one over here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say project photo. Um, I'll go ahead and let it trim it this time. If I look at it this way, don't worry about this. This is where the image just trimmed off. I mean, worry about it. It's not good. But what I want to mostly point out is this pipe right here. See, it did, it did stretch my bricks so they're in line with my wall. But this thing kind of got warped. See how much it turns right here? And it's stretched out. You can kind of tell like this is definitely stretched out because it was the perspective I had in the photo made it look stretched out. So what I would recommend doing, I'm going to go ahead and just hit undo. Um, I'll go ahead and reverse these faces because they really should be. That's better. What I would recommend doing if you're going to do a, a thing like this and you're taking the photos is take that corner photo. So get this corner photo for modeling. This is important. This is really good thing to have. But then for your actual faces, when I come in here to put the face on here, I can go in here, file import and take a straight on photo of that wall also. So this one I'm going to import as a texture. And then I'll put that on here. And then what I can do is I can come in, right click texture position, and I can actually get that in there, you know, like this and then just stretch that out so it fully fills. There we go. So see the difference in this pipe up here? So yeah, I mean, this pipe could get modeled for sure, but it's an illustration of what's happening. See how it, it stops here instead of running off the edge? Um, I don't have the same level of distortion on the bricks. It wasn't bad before, but it wasn't perfect. Um, but by, by using a straight on texture like this, I don't have to worry about that it fixing for perspective and ending up with weird stuff like this pipe being in the wrong spot. So something to think about if you do get in and want to use match photo inside of a building. So that I know is a kind of a handful of things. Not all that stuff should be taken as just something you would use only for interiors. There, that's general match photo information there that's really good. Um, but if you do use it specifically on interiors, those tips will help you out a bunch. Um, let me know what you thought of that. If you liked that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every single week around here, and you'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe.
Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Let me know, would it be good to do a multiple match photo video? Would you guys want to see that? Leave us a comment. At this point, we create most, if not all, of our content from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.